All right, guys, we have a whole bunch of X-Men books here to unbox, all of which came out of that Virginia collection. We're going to open them up, check the grades, and go over GPA. All right, guys, we're going to cut into this. But first, please, if you could hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new content. Regular content comes out Mondays and Thursdays. Sometimes, though, a shorter midweek video as well as live shows and auctions, and that's why you want that notification bell clicked. So we are going to crack this open, check the grades, and then we're going to get the GPA, which is the value, the 90-day average sale value of the books in these grades. All right? Uh, I'm gonna hold these books up as I open them, but don't worry if it's a bet, you know, if it's a little glare. Ooh, heavy, I forgot how many are in here. I think 17. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll put up a nice picture of the book, so don't, don't be concerned if you can't really see it. So here we go, these are all X-Men books. These books all came out of the Virginia collection. I will put that link down in the description below, as well as the Amazing Spider-Man CGC unboxing, which also came out of this collection. That link will be down below as well. So you can see the story that goes with these books. Oh, you know, every collection is a story, right? So we're gonna learn about these ones now. So here are the X-Men books. So Copper and bronze, that's what's in here. Technically all modern according to CGC. Oh, I should have covered the grades, I'm sorry. First one, X-Men 97, Return of Havoc and Polaris. First appearance of Lalandra. Uh, Eric the Red appearance, 9.4 white pages on this bronze age beauty. Nice, nice grades here. Look at that back. Very pretty. Uh, all these books were cleaned and pressed by myself. That's going to save us money because I did it myself. Oh, should I? Oh, I did it again. Sorry. Uh, next up, X-Men 96 in a 9.0 white pages. First appearance of Moira McTaggart. Very nice book. Again, that white pages. This is from 1975. 9.0. Very nice. I'd almost argue... All right, no, 9.0 looks pretty good. All right, let me try to hide this one. Here we go. X-Men 95. Uh, Death of Thunderbird, third appearance of the new X-Men, Count Nefaria and Anime-Men appearance. X-Men 95, this is gorgeous. Everything's going to be over a nine. 9.6. Oh, 9.6. So close. White pages. Beautiful. There, There's definitely a couple spine ticks. So CGC, sometimes if it's a very minor spine tick, will give you one and keep you at a 9.8. Extremely minor. I Right away, I saw two. That was probably all the flaws in that book, and that's probably why that one came back a 9.6. X-Men 142, Days of Future Past. This is the part, part two of Days of Future Past. New stand. Uh, again, it's got to be over a 9 This is the death of alternate future Wolverine, Storm, and Colossus Sentinels, Robert Kelly, and Brotherhood of Evil Mutants appearance. 9 9-2? 9 I don't know. Doesn't matter. What do we got? 8-5. Ooh. 8-5. They hit me hard on this one, huh? That's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some stuff up on the spine. Moving on. Sorry if I'm going slow. I'm just excited. These are, uh, you know, oh, sorry. 9.2 on part one. White pages. White pages for everything so far. The backs are looking beautiful. And again, we're going to uh, go over the GPAs on these. We're also going to get a nice picture on the screen for you as well. Here's a big one if you guys don't know. New stand edition as well. This is X-Men 101. First appearance of Phoenix. 9 oh Oh, yeah. See, this has... This has the print, you know, so manufacturer, a mistake here, manufacturer defect where the page is actually printed on itself. Uh, I don't even know how to grade this. Oh, 9.2. I did not anticipate that. Uh, I don't know if you can see here and here and here, but it was printing errors where the pages, again, were kind of folded onto itself. Beautiful. This one's going to GPA extremely high in a 9.2. All right, 
And I'm going to go ahead and assume, now I don't know, I don't know, but I'm going to assume most of these books are trending up. X-Men 266, First Gambit, looks like high grade, but I'll be, uh, no, 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 9.4, 9.4. I have never gotten a book, this book back in a 9.8, ever. So I'm going to go ahead and assume these aren't, because I've seen some ticks, there's a few of these. 9.6 white pages, I'll take that, very nice. I don't, some of these aren't, I don't remember if some of the gambits I thought were, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's three. Let's just go to get to them. We don't need a story for every single book. Here's another, oh, I saw it. Seven, five. Why? May have to look up the greater notes on this one. Seven, five. Really? Hmm. Okay. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a stain somewhere I don't know about. Eight, five on this one. Seven five eight five nine six. Up next. Ah, oh, sorry. X Men ninety nine nine point four. First appearance of Black Tom Cassidy. Sentinels appearance nine point four. White pages. All high grade. These Bronze Age books. I'm gonna try to speed it up a little so this isn't a four hour video. Because again, we have a lot of books to go through here still. X Men ninety eight nine point six. White pages. So close. Yeah, okay. I already see a couple ticks, so nice black black cover. It's hard to get these things in high grade. 1976. So close. 9.4 on X-Men 120, which is the first appearance of Alpha Flight in Cameo. 9.4 white pager. Keep an eye on keep an eye on the Alpha Flight books. Matches 9.4 on the 121. Look at that. Look at that linear, huh? This is the first full appearance of Alpha Flight. So you have 120 and 121. I think those books are currently undervalued. I'm not positive. First Dazzler, X-Men 130, and a 9.4. First appearance of Dazzler. Speed this up. Oh, man, X-Men 129, 9.6. This book is in fuego. First appearance of Kitty Pride and the White Queen, Emma Frost, and Sebastian Shaw. 9.6 white pages. That would have been nice coming back a 9.8. That would have been a nice one. First Jubilee in a 9.6 as well. This is X-Men 244, first appearance of Jubilee. And last one before we get into the GPAs. 221, first appearance of Mr. Sinister, 9.6. Would have liked to see this in a 9.8, but what can you do? There are some, there's a couple spine ticks back there. So I'll take the 9.6. So that's all the X-Men book. Boy, bad scuff on this one, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Um, that's it for the unboxing portion of the video. So if you guys are bailing now, I want to say thank you for even watching. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up. But if you're going to stick around for GPAs, that's up next. All right, guys, based on your votes in a previous video, we're going to be sending Scott a Venom 3 in a CGC 9.8 first appearance of Null, as well as an Avengers 8 in a 5.0, the first appearance of Kang. We're going to be sending that stuff out to him right away. Um, now, enjoy the GPA portion of today's video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this ahead of time. Every single book is trending up but one. I will let you know what that is. Every single book is trending up. Why? Right now, the hobby is very strong. More importantly, the mutants are coming to the MCU. So everything here is, you can almost assume everything here is a speculation book because we have we have yet to see a lot of these first appearances except Days of Future Past, which we'll get into when we get there. But the first we're going to start with, X-Men 244. That's that first Jubilee in a 9.6. 90-day average sale is currently $77. Not much, but like I said, every single book is trending up, so they're all going in the right direction. Next up, that X-Men 221, first Mr. Sinister in a 9.6, $136. X-Men 266, this is the first gambit now, in a 7.5, 
$101, trending up, in an $8.5, $127. So guys, right now on average, you can go from a 7.5 to an 8.5 for $16. You do it every single day of the week, you make that jump. Gets a little hairy to go from that 8.5 to the 9.6. So the Gambit, the X-Men 266 and a 9.6 90-day average sale is $240. Let's move on. X-Men 130 uh, in a 9.4, $178. Still an affordable X-Men key. You know, try to let's say affordable is 200 to 250 and less. That's an affordable key right there in a very high grade. X-Men 129. This is that book I told you is on fire, and it certainly is. In a 9.6, $474. Again, across the board, trending up. X-Men 120 and 121. This is a great barometer on the market. So a lot of times people aren't sure which is more expensive, the cameo or the first appearance. And it changes from book to book. Look at Wolverine, Hulk 180 to Hulk 181. Uh, how about Apocalypse, right? Um, all these first appearances, cameos in this. Uh, what's another great example? Uh, Cletus Cassidy to Carnage. I mean, come on, the, the prices are totally crazy. And nine times out of 10, that cameo is less expensive, like the Hulk, like the Apocalypse, I mean, Carnage. I mean, do people even know that ASM 360 is the cameo, first cameo of Carnage? This is a little different. X-Men 120 is the first cameo of Alpha Flight in a 9.4, X-Men 121 which is the first full appearance of Alpha Flight in a 9.4, same grade, $188, $100 difference in the same grade, cameo versus full appearance. I don't know, the market dictates, you gotta go by the market. Uh, X-Men 141 in a 9.2, $131. Now here comes the laughing stock of this entire video, of this entire submission of everything. Probably of this whole collection. X-Men 142 in an 8.5 is not only our only book on the list trending down, the 90-day average on this book in an 8.5 is $30. $30. It would have cost more. If I paid somebody to press the book, it would have cost more to get it graded and pressed than what it's actually worth. Now we're going to go all those bronze X-Men. X-Men 95 in a 9.6 comes in at $465. The last sale, $575. The last sale is a $100 jump from the 90-day average. Crazy. X-Men 96 now in a 9.0 comes in at $166. Near Mint Minus, $166. Bronze Age X-Men book, affordable at $166. Now, X-Men 97 in a 9.4 comes in at $254. Getting borderline there. X-Men 98 in a 9.6 comes in at $369. That close to a 9.8, guys. X-Men 99 in a 9.4 comes in at $236. We didn't submit X-Men 100. Why? It wasn't in the collection, but we did submit X-Men 101. I'm going to not I'm not going to lie to you guys. I anticipated a significantly lower grade, but this thing came back in a 9.2 and it comes in at $692. Uh, our grand total, everything added up, comes in at $4,143. The cost of the submission was $459. That's how much it costs to send these books out. That's not even shipping down to CGC because I don't remember what I paid. So our grand total 
comes in at $3,684. We add that to our amazing Spider-Man CGC submission where we profited $392, which means right now we have a total profit across the board on this collection at $4,076. Two things I wanna say. Number one, this is a 90-day average. It fluctuates, right? But more importantly, I think we were gifted on some of these grades. A lot of these things, I did not anticipate some of these 9.4s and 9.6s, I'll be honest with you. We also saved a lot of money by cleaning and pressing the books ourselves, right? So 17 books shipped, insured, clean press. You may be looking at a $250 submission to clean and press these books, depending on your presser, maybe even more. Saved some money there. But these grades, that's what got us, man. That's what made us all this money is I did not anticipate grades in the 9.4 to 9.6 range. And a lot of these books were in that range. So, hey, kudos to us. Sometimes the graders uh, have a good day. You know, sometimes they're feeling good. Maybe it was a Friday, huh? Maybe Thursday they had uh, got a little lucky or something. I don't know. But hey, you know what? Uh, like uh, my buddy Otto said, trains go east, trains go west. Sometimes we get banged on grades. This time we actually made out pretty good. So that's it for this submission, guys. Now, I do have one more major submission from this collection. It's a 50 book pre-screen 9.8 submission. 50 books all out of this collection are at CGC right now. Please don't anticipate that for another month to two before that book come, before all those books come back and we can do another video. But so far, we're over 4,000 in profit, which is tremendous. Easier said than done. You still have to sell the books, but still, 90-day average, that's where we sit. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this was a long video. We went through a lot of information here, 17 X-Men books, a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And as always, keep it comics.